It's the one only Despotic. Bring you guys another gameplay commentary. This is Elder Scrolls Online. I guess you can call this part two of the 1VX dueling commentary. Uh, that commentary, I think, was close to half an hour. I think it was like 25 or 26 minutes. This one will not be that long. So um, I think it should be like, I don't know, 13 minutes or so. But I've been getting a lot of like comments about wanting to get into PvP, but just really tired of getting one-shotted. And it's not like you think you're getting one-shotted, but you're not. It's a combination of things. It's a series of maybe the player like hits you with a combo that you're not you're not experienced enough to realize when the combo is coming. That's why like I I'm an advocate of playing almost every class. The only class I haven't played extensively, which I've I played it for a bit, is probably Magic of DK. But my stamina of DK I use ninety percent of it are all magic of skills. So I've pretty much played every character extensively. I've played it. I've one v X'd with every character. I've dueled with every character. Templar, Magicka Templar, Stamina Templar, DK, Magicka, Stamina, Nightblade, Magicka, Stamina, Dragon Knight, <laughs> which I just mentioned, um, Sork. I've even played a little bit of Magic, um, Stamina Sork as well. And the reason I'm saying this is you have to know the character. Like, you have to know who you're fighting. And the moment you know that, then you know what that class can do. And then you know what to, ex what to uh, expect. If, if you don't know that, hey, this Sork is <laughs> getting ready to hit you with inevitable detonation. Uh, and you're close by and you... <laughs> you don't know that you can interrupt certain things if you know that you can't stand in front of this especially a stamina templar you can't stand in front of a stamina templar's biting jabs maybe puncturing sweep you can but magic magic templars are more dangerous than stamina ones because they have tremendous burst like potential this is my breton magic templar here i'm just was grinding I got a bit tired and I decided to um, just level up my PvP rank a little bit so I can get some skill points but yeah back to what I was saying so the moment you know the characters then you can you can tell what and when certain things will occur and then you can plan for it <laughs> like when I fight Nightblades on my DK. I have a video up of explaining what you should do. It depends on the Nightblade, right? The, the thing you want to prevent is Nightblades stacking attacks on you. Like, that's their thing. Like, Nightblades can, it's like a burst potential build, but they stack a lot of things. Like, they'll rally, go into stealth, and they're stacking their damage. Then, They'll basically ambush, and depending on how good the the nightblade is, that's where you can anticipate what will happen. A good nightblade, my personal opinion, this is just my opinion. It's not something that's known as fact, but to me, a good nightblade, if he or she has played the game for any, you know, for a long period of time, knows. When you ambush, you get empowered, right? But some Nightblades lose that by hitting you with mass hysteria. To me, that's not a good Nightblade because they're afraid that you'll attack them. Like, they're, they're basically, they want to burst you down, but that doesn't, that's, that won't, uh, in the long run, it won't, it won't benefit the player because once you have CC immunity for five seconds, if that player can heal through it, and good players will definitely heal through your attacks. Like, you have to understand that a good player will heal through your attacks. So, but uh, to me, a good Nightblade is someone, he'll ambush, 
and he'll hit you with a light or a surprise attack now to me a good night blade is waiting for you to try to avoid that damage so he'll hit you with ambush and he'll light attack then go into surprise attack because he's he, like he's stacking his that he's stacking a lot of weapon damage right so this is what most of them do the good ones they'll ambush you while they're doing that they're charging a heavy and I don't know in the, if you know this but in the two-hand skill line if you charge a heavy you get 5% increase in your next attack right so they're, they're literally stacking it so they'll hit you with a uh, uh, an ambush light attack which is empowered by for up for 20% and then they hit you with a surprise attack which is empowered by 5% right and hit and at this point you're at that place where now you have to like heal through it and you're panicking so if you know this is coming you want to have when you when you're fighting you want to have vigor pro like you want vigor to be up almost like when your health is at half that's when i start to use uh vigor rally is your you want rally to stay up you want to hold out as for as long as possible until you use rally because then that will tell that good player because sometimes they don't respect you right that will tell that good player oh shit this person can heal through my damage so let me be a bit more careful and and that's where like the dueling kind of dynamic comes in because then this player who's a good player knows like okay this guy just can heal through my attacks and he also knows what I'm basically coming with so that's where you switch things up sometimes you might ambush light attack sometimes you might ambush surprise attack and that's where you and this player like you guys are going back and forth that's when uh, you realize that you're not dying as quickly as you thought because now you know what this person is coming with and and that only comes with just experiences playing against other characters and hopefully going solo you know I'm a strong advocate of depending on yourself and not really dealing with groups uh, and and this this kind of play it, it plays a major role in, in PvE as well uh, because a few of my characters have like maxed undaunted so I'm now trying to level up my red guard nightblade to undaunted nine and I'm, you know, I'm trying to like grab a group from um, the Undaunted area, but they mostly like the the Vet 16s are there, and I'm saying I don't need a healer. We can just we can just DPS through Fungal Grotto. We can DPS through Banished Cells. Like there's certain places where you don't need a specific group setup to to beat the dungeon, and the guy's like, no. I've, I've never heard of anyone beating Fungal Grotto or Banished Cell or Spindle Clutch with 4 DPS, right? And he's complaining about, you know, we need a healer. And I said, don't you have heals yourself? But why would I need heals? <laughs> you see, so, <laughs> excuse me, he's like, why would, I, why would I need heals? But that's a perfect example of like this guy is so accustomed to having this set kind of way that the moment something goes outside the box he doesn't understand it and he's like oh i can't believe this is happening and and that's where the problem comes in that's where like that person is not diversified enough to try to think of something differently right? as, as as much as people frown in this game for not giving you build diversity. I think this game has build diversity. I think, but it's just how people think mentally. Like, oh, for example, this this guy right here. I do this. This is a Magicka Templar, right? Like, they have burst potential. Like, the best thing for you to do is try to stay close to him and prevent. Um, because he like his puncturing sweeps can't really do anything. They have to Magic Knight Blades have to burst you down. 
and they're very difficult to kill. But as long as you keep mass hysteria on them and drain their stamina, you'll be fine. Right? Like he realized that he can't really burst me down, so like his toppling charge. I don't know why he used it. I was I had CC immunity uh, there. But this, I, I hate to go off on a tangent, but this guy is, is another example of just like honor is no longer there, right? Because I, I fought him, gave him the business, right? He drops back down. We're fighting again. He sees that they're trying to, you know, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting hit with crystal frags. I'm getting hit with a, a, a litany of things. And he continues to attack me, right? And then he proceeds to say, well, the reason why... And he teabags me, right? The reason why I continue to attack. He didn't say that, but you can tell in, in his actions. Oh, it's because you were running around um, the pole. There's a reason I use the pole, because they're trying... Like, when you're fighting against more than one individual, you have to use your terrain to your advantage. He keeps getting ready to get worked again, but... He sees that, so I'm trying to get away from being focused, aimed, and, and fragged, and he still continues to attack me, right? And then when I die, he, he proceeds to teabag me, right? And this is where, like, if you're a good, if you're a good player, you're good, like, you would stop. You wouldn't continue to attack. That's me. That's my personal thing. I don't, I've, you know, I don't, I don't play that way. If I'm fighting you and, and a group of people are attacking you. I, I stop. Look, he's teabagging me. <laughs> That's why you, you don't. And then he, uh, anyway. Oh, this also here, this is where I tried. I know I went off in the tangent, but it's why I tried a hybrid build where it was um, Max Magica. I'm using, I'm using my whip here. I, 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 this is the only fight I won. Every other fight I lost. And this guy is an um, inexperienced dueler or else he would have beat me. Because um, I, what I did was I had medium Magnus, medium um, Torox, and, uh, and I think uh, two piece Willows, so I can get magic recovery, and I, and I and it was everything sixty four into Magicka, so I basically had stamina. Um, I had medium armor on with Magicka uh, glyphs and everything into Magicka. So I had a decent amount of regen, decent amount of break free, but it didn't work on other players, man. This guy lost to me because he's uh, an inexperienced player. But if he, if he wasn't, I, I would have lost. But uh, you can't play with a hybrid build in this game. Don't, because I got murdered. I was surprised that I beat this guy. Because look at my whips, my whips. <laughs> My whips aren't doing anything, but back to what back to what I was saying. Um, like you, you need to get outside the this like this box and play other classes. Like f die, like, right? The, the the thing about this game is, don't be afraid to lose. Like those who are afraid to lose, uh, eventually won't. They'll be in that area where they're constantly afraid to lose, so they're they're they don't play aggressive, right? They're, they're, they're passive players. To them, a draw is what's more, most important than, than a loss, right? Than a win. Like, to me, I don't want to, like, fight you and we, we fight to, to a draw. That doesn't really say anything, right? It doesn't say anything at all. I, I literally want to fight you and win. I would rather, like, lose the fight and realize what I did wrong then, but anyway, just the one only the spotic deuces.